Now we are in the hiri hiri phase of the third phase. I believe here uh, 1431. <laughs> uh, we can, you could see that all the villages on the map are occupied, and so we will vote for the other four remaining bishoprics one, two, three, and four. And we will start by, as the rule book, uh, bishop brick number one. Just a reminder, the only candidates uh, are unmarried lords and uncaptured. So the white player has only one male, Prince Charles, and he's married. Lampert has no candidate. The green player has no candidate even though Terry is not married, but he is bishop already. The black player has two candidates, Philip and Eric. Pink player has no candidates. The yellow player has also two candidates, uh, Henry and Gauvin. So you could see the only candidates available are uh, the black player, two candidates, and the yellow player, two candidates. Now let's see what will happen for the voting. Here, the diplomacy will take place. Uh, you could see that uh, for uh, bishopric number one, the pink has a total of four votes, two because of the main bishopric city, one and one, this is a total of four votes for the pink. Blue has two votes, black has one, and yellow has one. White has no villages, so no votes. But the green, even though he has no villages, but uh, Lord Terry is the bishop and has two votes. Four for the pink, two for the blue, one for the black, one for the yellow, and two for the green. And what happened because of neither the pink or the yellow uh, or the blue has candidates, so apparently they didn't vote. Now the black player voted to Philip and the pink player has one vote. He voted to Henry. Also the green player, he is a bishop, voted to Henry. So in overall, Lord Henry, with three votes only, was elected against Bishop Rick Philip for the bishop title in Lord in uh, bishopric number one. Let's see what happened in the second, I mean, this is bishopric number one. Let's see what will happen for the bishopric number two. Before uh, we could go for election for bishopric number three, I would like just to put Lord Henry, who was just elected as bishop for bishopric number one, like this. This to hint that he will not cast any votes for the current election taking place as he was just elected in this round. Let's see again how many votes we have here. The white player controlling three villages including the capital of the bishopric number two. So the white player has four votes, the blue player one vote, and the green player the bishopric of uh, bishop number five, two votes. Of course, the white player has no candidates, but but his allies is the black player, and he has two candidates actually, but he made Philip here as a candidate for, to, for bishop title in number two. The green didn't vote for anybody, also the same for the blue, so all the white voices, which is four, went to Bishop now Philip. And now he is the Bishop of area number two. Now let's see what would happen for the third Bishopric. Now for third bishopric area, again 
The only two candidates remaining is one for black and one for yellow. Lord Eric, Eric in black and Lord Gwyn in yellow. Apparently, this area all occupied by the white, who is a, a, an ally of the black. So, one, two votes from the white, one, two, three votes from the black, all went to Lord Eric for the third bishop area. In the last election for bishop area number four is we have only one candidate Lord Gwyn and Lord Gwyn uh, of course they have the majority of the voices four votes for the yellow and one here for the green and another two of the green because because he is the bishop of the fifth area so a total of seven votes goes to the Lord Gwyn of the yellow player. Now the votes, all the votes are finished or ended for all bishoprics. Black has two bishops, yellow has two bishops, green has one bishop. This is really powerful. Now we'll go to the card drawing phase and let's see what will happen. Now the card drawing phase, all the players draw uh, each their cards. It's not specified in details what did they draw, what did they discard. However, there was this turn also one calamity or apparently two. Uh, the first w w one was uh, the heavy rain and it rolled the second bishopric so this bishop will be affected by movement the other uh, calamity was uh, famine but apparently it rolled six and was discarded now the playing card phase will start by the green player as he is the first player he played the first cardinal card in this game and he was able to upgrade Terry Henry, uh, sorry, Terry from bishop to cardinal now. And he is actually the first bishop was elected in the whole France. Next, the black player decided apparently not to play any cards. Next, now the pink player. His game was really interesting. First, he played Lord Othin. This is the first male lord and he landed in play. All his lords are in one city. Next, he played Taxis Khan. He played it on his, not Bishop Rick, but on his fifthdom. Third, he played Good Harvest in the first Bishop Rick. Really interesting turn for the pink. The yellow player plays Lord Francos and he landed in Burg. White player, his prayers were answered and the rain was removed as he played this card so both are discarded now he is able to move this turn last is the blue player where he played Lord Othin and Lord Othin landed in the capital city of the blue player now the income phase 
let's see let's start calculating money we'll start by the green player he has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven denary will be collected by the green player next the black player one two three four five six seven denary only for the black player now let's see the interesting income of the uh, of the blue player uh, sorry of the pink player he controls four villages villages and there is he has two mills this is eight and he get one dinner extra because of good harvest this is 10 and also he taxed his fifth fifth dump this is a total of 18 wow good let's make sure one two three four no no oh sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine Seventeen, it's not eighteen. I calculated this by mistake. It's seventeen. Now the yellow player turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine denary. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he had one denary from before. The white player one two three four five six seven eight only a dinner which is good he had also one dinner from before the blue player income he has three villages and four mills and one bishop brick. so each mill will produce three now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen denary for the blue player, and he had two from before. That was the income phase. Let's go for the purchase phase and see what happened. Now the purchase phase. Just I would like to add a comment about taxing. And board game geek when they taxed uh, when the pink player taxed his own fifthum he got six personally I believe he taxed all the eight uh, all uh, he got six because he taxed three villages I believe personally he should tax all the four villages of his fifthum regardless if he control it or not so I he should take eight not six but they played it as six so I will not confuse you we we'll remove these two from the pink player but personally I still believe when he takes a fifth down he takes all the villages even if he doesn't control them correct me if I'm wrong uh, now the purchase phase the green player uh, decided to purchase uh, the title of uh, this fifth down uh, capital Senji CG for Lady Blanche. So he bought, he has 11. He bought, he paid 6. Apparently he has 12, maybe I miscalculated the income. Because he bought 6 for this title. For Lady Blanche. And purchase two knights in this village, and he spent all the money. I just forgot last time to add this 
when uh, the pink player purchases the title of this fifth dam, I should add it this. Interesting castle now. And now the same here for this fifth dam. He purchased the fifth dam and it is a castle. Okay, I hope it looks good while you're playing. Yeah, it looks great actually. Sorry, this was here. I'm playing alone, so don't mind all this mess I'm making now. Now, let's see what happened. Now, after the green player purchase phase was ended, it's the start of the black player. He decided to play two revolve cards. One of them on this city or village, and the other on this village. He there are uh, revolting because of the taxes, and this is another point. As I told you, this area should be taxed because when you play. Uh, riveting, uh, uh, riveting a card you can play it on any village so I believe two dinner should be collected however uh, now it's uh, we'll try to resolve what happened here uh, basically uh, the bishopric of this area bishop 5 he is the same Terry, he is cardinal now. He could pay three denarii and try to roll for a die if he if he is able to calm the villagers. But because he doesn't have any denarii, so he went there by himself as a bishop, and apparently he rolled and he succeeded the villagers that and nothing happened here but here uh, the riot continued and they rolled and the village villagers here they were able to kill the two men of arm controlling the city that was part of the card play of the black player now let's see what he will purchase now the pink player the pink player decided to pay all his I don't know let's see he paid uh, nine to purchase four sorry twelve he paid twelve to purchase four uh, Knights and he paid the remaining three. This is 15. He put it on this village. I'm not sure if this is allowed, however. He paid all 15. Now it's the yellow player 10. The yellow player decided to purchase two knights. A total, he purchased a total of four knights, so 12. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. He purchased also four knights, two when he's dead, and Two with Lord Henry. Let's see how it goes. Now, the white player turn. Let's see what he will do. Apparently, I skipped the purchase phase of the black. He has seven, so he will purchase the fifth dumb title here. He pays six. 
we put this castle now and another he purchased another one men of arm he put it also in the same capital city he gives this title to Isabella now we'll go ahead with the white purchase fees now another connection uh, sorry another correction it's not my mistake actually it's the form of a bit confusing but apparently Lord Francus is for the white player not that uh, for the yellow and here is he he is in Turonis and now during the purchase phase uh, the white player purchased the fifth dam here by six denary he pays six and pay another three denary for one knight here is one knight and here is the castle now and the title is for Francos let's see the blue player what he will do he have 17 denary he will pay 6 for this title and the title will be granted for Lord Lambert also he will purchase three knights with a cost of six and it will be in the capital two sergeants sorry three knights with Lampard Lampard is here and two sergeants with Othin he spent 9, 11, 12, and 6. This is 18. He spent now all his money. Sorry, this process took, uh, took a while. Uh, let's now move to the movement phase. Now, the movement phase it's, it will start with the green player. Lady Shanine leaves her army and goes back to this village. She concluded her moves. Now, the black player. Lord Eric here decided to go back to this village taking this unit with him going back to the main city now is the pink player turn let's see what happened now the pink player turn the pink player decided to take lady one of you with the whole big army four knights and three men of arm leaving one men of arm and continued marching to reclaim the lost village in the beginning and also Lord Lady Eleanor, Eleanor moves to this village and Quentin will go to, to this area, picks one sergeant with him and goes back again to the capital. That was the movement of the pink player. Next is the yellow player. Let's see what he will do. Now, the yellow player turn. He decided to go back to the city with two knights. Leaving one knight here and continue back to the capital. Now, the white player turn. The white player decided, let's review it. Yes, the white player 
takes Lord Charles to the capital and moves Francus with one knight with his sister Muriel. That was the moves of the wild player. Blue now will start moving. Let's see what will happen. Now it's the blue player turn. He took Lord Othan with two men of arms to protect this village. Now the battle phase. We have only one battle happening, which is up in the north. I just uh, changed the lords. Apparently, Lord Quentin is here fighting to, res to reclaim this village. Let's see how the battle took place. Now the battle will take place up in the north. Uh, first, the green army have three knights. And one man of arm, this is a total of 10 points. And the pink player has four knights, this is 12. And two men of arm, this is 14. And the, the lord, this is 15. So the pink player will roll three die. The first roll, he rolled a total of five. And the defender ruled a total of two casualties only, he was unlucky, so the green army lost, let's try to lose five, so this is, he lost one knight and one man of arm, and the pink player lost two men of arm. Nobody surrendered and the battle continued. So we'll calculate again the strength. The green player has a strength power of six. The pink player still have 12, 13. So he will uh, rule 13. The pink player still will rule for three dials. And uh, the green player will rule only one die now. Apparently, uh, the pink player caused casualty of four to the defender, so he rolled two fifth symbol, one fifth symbol, and one fifth symbol. But uh, and the, the defenders ruled what? What did they rule? Ruled three which was lethal for one unit. They, it was killed from Quinton army. And this four killed another unit. We'll calculate again. They have uh, a strength power of 10. So now they will roll with two die. And the green player still will roll one die the green player apparently rolled one or two and the pink player rolled three or above so the final unit knight unit was killed and now Lord Quinton controlled this village now that was the only battle in the field let's see next victory conditions uh, for the allies green and uh, yellow they have one victory point with lady blanche for the black and white they have two victory points one from Frank francos here and one for isabel and that's it for the uh, pink and blue, they also have two victory points. So we'll continue for the next round, which is the fourth round. A lot has is happening here. Now the first player marker will be for the white player. 
let's see what will happen next